If you're already watching, this is my very, very first time going live on YouTube, so I'm sure we're going to have glitches and, um, you know, lots of crazy things happening here tonight, but I am so excited, so, so excited, and I'm nervous, you know. So, I don't know how the chat works or anything. Um, I've never seen the screens before, so we're going to be learning together here tonight. I have uh, something I've been working on. This is a tattoo that I have colored in with Ohuhu alcohol markers. And I made a copy of the tattoo on the transparent film because I want to make the 3D wings. So I thought I'd make my own wings. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I want to look at a little bit later, but first I need to figure out how to maneuver around um, YouTube Live. So be patient with me. I'm also on my um, iPad trying to find the feed. So if you guys know how to chat on YouTube, chat with me so I can see how chat works. Oh, hi. Hi, Elizabeth. I see you. <laughs> Hi, Allison. Yay. Isn't this great? YouTube Live. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> yep, straight to YouTube. Hi, Lori. And Margie. Hi. Hi, Kate. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to switch over on my iPad to my other self, Wanda Rodriguez, so you guys will see me in the feed. Wanda oh. Rodriguez, and you... so you guys will see me Hang on. in the feed. Wanda Rodriguez, and you... so you guys will see me. I don't know how to turn the, the volume now. Wanda and you... so you guys will see me. Okay, I'm just going to turn that off because I don't know how to mute it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Different. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think I can go back on. Hang on. Ha. Okay, got the volume figured out. And wow. Hi, everyone. There's a lot of you. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Deborah and Jen and Sherry. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I guess I better get busy, huh? You guys expect something pretty cool and fun? Thank you, Margie. I did. Thank you, Margie, everybody. Say thank you, Margie, for helping me to figure out um, YouTube allows live uh, at 1,000 instead of at 10,000. So we are early. Isn't that wonderful? We don't have to wait so long. Years and years it would have taken me. Okay, so I also want to talk about Lori. She sent this package today. And I got to show you guys some cool things from St. Louis. She went on vacation and stopped at the Dollar Tree in St. Louis. And what'd she say? This Dollar Tree is the crap capital of Dollar Tree. <laughs> that was the word. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys a few things that she found. I'm not sure how to move the comments off my screen. So, but, so here's uh, some of those 3D stickers. These are bees and ladybugs. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Julie. I see you, so I think it's working. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for supporting me here tonight on my first YouTube Live. So, those are absolutely adorable and beautiful. And I don't know if you remember the tutorial from a few times back, but I showed how to um, put these on a rock and make the wings... Uh, stiffer with the resin so you can just do an easy 3d wing that way also she found these wonderful brushes I think this may have been from Amazon but these are you remember last night we did the chrome 
the chrome work on the gecko, this would work really well for that. So these are really soft. Super, super soft. Perfect. That would work perfect for chrome powder. Looks like there's four or five. Oh, they're all different. Oh, how cool is that? It's a set. Yeah, I don't think this is from the dollar store. This must be from Amazon. Thank you, Lori. What else do we got? Look at these. Oh, my goodness. The things we could do, right? <laughs> Hi, Trina. Hi, Deborah. And look, look at the leaves. Oh my gosh, this fall. Ooh, guys, look, feathers. Hi, Susan. I'm gonna pull this up just a bit. See, I can picture this on a rock with like a hummingbird, something. Now these I find so unique because I've never seen rub-on transfers like this. So these are rub-on transfers. I don't even, oh, they're clear. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I thought they were black. They're just on a black backing, but they're gold. Isn't that beautiful? So there's butterflies, hot air balloons, feathers, roses. I know, I, I can't believe she found all this stuff. I'm so, so extremely blessed. Thank you, Lori. Look. So pretty. Oh, speaking of hummingbirds, look, look. Oh, amazing. There's also some stickers that they, you can put, they're just like vinyls, actually. So you can put them in resin. Wow, look here. Now they're doing it like for the cups, you know, the tumblers. Hi, <laughs> Julie. Uh, look at these pretty. Now these are paper, so these are good for like the mixed media. So pretty. Oh, we're going to have fun this fall. Look at these pretties. I love doing dollar store reveals. <laughs> Especially from Dollar Trees around, you know. Ooh, look at those pretties. Lori's originally in Florida, so she was on vacation in St. Louis and very smart of you to drop into the Dollar Tree there. <laughs> I'm opening this one. I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, pretty. Big butterflies. Look at these pretties. I love these colors. She also sent some beautiful tissue paper. That we can use for mixed media as well. Is it Lori? I have a feeling you're going to get bombarded with questions here. <laughs> but um, oop, I'm so sorry you guys. Okay, didn't mean to hit the camera. Sorry. All right, so let's start this this paper pack. Look at this. So it's all kinds of different um, mixed meat. Is it? There it is. 
and this paper is so beautiful and delicate. Katie, I bet you're just loving this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Look, they're super tissue fine. It's such beautiful paper. Oh my goodness. So there's like beige and white. It's like um, is that hand pressed homemade paper or handmade. Beautiful. So Katie, you're going to have to spend some time with me <laughs> to help us do a big mixed media class. Look at these beautiful, they look like, I don't even know, like, so pretty. Looks like you opened a, an old timey trunk and this is what fell out, right? Like copies of letters and documents and these are great Lori I am in awe this is amazing I don't think these were from Dollar Tree but I'm not exactly positive where they're from so I will find out and get you some info Oh my goodness. Look at this handwriting. Just. Beautiful. I have a feeling these are like copies of real things. Like, can you imagine the history here? They look so real. Maybe this is what they use in the movies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, these are clippings from papers. December 6th, 1892. Oh my goodness. So, yes, I will definitely spend some more time and we will go through each one of these. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Lori. Now I gotta think of something worthy. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And this, look at her expert packing. This is amazing. She put these beautiful tissues in this nice packaging. So perfect. They lay in here. So I'm just opening it up like a big oh my gosh, there it's a huge amount of tissue paper. Okay. So I'm not going to open it, but this whole thing is full of like wrapping tissue paper and it looks like newspapers, but it's like printed on tissue paper, if that makes sense. So we got some polka dots and newspaper print and it looks like there's some other colors in there, but I don't have enough space at the moment. So I will figure this out. Maybe I'll cut off a little section and we'll go through them that way and I can show you guys everything she sent. So I also have some wood. Look at this cute tin. <laughs> so cute. And all these wood. Somebody has a glow forge. Looks like, huh? Oh, they smell so good. They smell like um, burning wood, like smoked wood. <laughs> mm. So they're cutouts. They're wooden cutouts. Look at the details on these. Perfect for rock art. These are absolutely beautiful, Lori. Thank you so, so much. Wow. owls and birds and oh my gosh I love these stars and words <laughs> these are from Dollar Tree no no <laughs> okay 
there you have it. Oh my word, haven't seen these anywhere. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lori. This is huge. So we'll have lots of things to play with. Also, I received um, a gift from, hang on just a second. Let me grab it. I hope I remember what I did with it. Okay, I'll have to show you guys that one in the next slide. Oh, here it is, from Sally. This one's from Sally. And Sally sent this beautiful pendant. It was not black. I painted it because I want to play with this too. And I'm going to use the mood changing pen. So what we're going to do here, you guys ready? We're going to start playing. I'm going to paint with the mood changing pen and then we're going to set that aside to dry. And then I'm going to try to make wings on the other rock. <laughs> so you know nothing like multitasking so this is the solar dust um solar color dust.com the liquid crystal brushable pen that i've been playing with on all of these things that i told you last night i would show you so i am going to show you now how i did these all right so basically this clicks and then the liquid comes out here. I think it smells really good too. It's an added bonus. Okay, you see it coming out? I am going to apply this uh, inside here, paint it on. We have to do it in layers. It actually works a lot better if you do it kind of in puddles. I know that's weird but um, when you paint it on brush it on it sort of looks like this let me show you which I don't think is very flattering and that's like five coats so if I just were to keep brushing like that I think it would end up looking that way but if you will puddle it which is what I did on the others um, I'm just putting a base coat down so that it will bond with itself. When I say puddle, click it until there's a whole bunch on there. And then, can you see how it's puddling there? You make a re one really thick layer. It does use a lot of the product, but I made all of these with the same pen, so I'm not complaining. It was a $5 pen. And if you've been on their page, that's really inexpensive for this stuff. Um, right now they have a sale. When I say $5 a pen, they're usually $10 a pen. So you can go on, if you buy four, they'll give you half off. So that's how I got that for $5. And I think those links are all over the the page in the group some members have been posting the links and I've posted I think Julie's posted Julie showed them um, she posted sent her mail today too she got <laughs> it's a great great deal so this is a really big cross so I'm probably going to empty my pen in it and I'm okay with that I have a few more I just wanted to show you guys an actual application and how how I did it. I know I had to experiment a lot, so I think it would be easier if you guys saw what worked for me rather than having to go through a pen figuring it out. And if you brush keep brushing against itself, it kind of removes it. It'll peel it off. So it's way, way better to do it this way. And once you get enough in there, it sort of levels out a bit. So how is it on YouTube, guys, compared to Facebook? Does the sound better? I know we've been having sound trouble. D 
Deborah's asking, does it dry without UV light? It does. This is water-based. It dries on its own. It takes a long time to dry. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm doing it now in the beginning. And then hopefully it'll be dry enough to do something with. Okay. It didn't even use it. Look, it didn't even use half of what I had left. See, it goes a long, long ways. Oh, sorry, Jen. So the idea here that is to try to work out the shallow spots a bit and it's kind of, you don't touch hard, you just sort of touch on the surface of your puddle and it drops a little bit back down in there. So I'm just trying to make it even. And we're gonna put the fan on this and put it aside. Thank you, Sally, for the pendant. If you catch the replay. All right. So I have this little fan over here that I keep handy. Hopefully that doesn't mess with the sound. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, now, <laughs> what did I do with, there it is. So I've had this ready to go for probably a couple weeks and I wasn't sure I knew how to make the wings. I was trying to make them on the window film that I sent out to you guys and for some reason I couldn't get it to lift off the window film so I was very frustrated with it. So, when I started using the transparency film, I thought, I'll just make a copy of it on the transparency film. And that's where I left it. <laughs> so, I'm going to pick up from there. So, what I'm going to do is cut the wings out, just the wings, and make 3D wings with those. And add that onto the rock, and we're going to have a 3D Pegasus. What do you guys think? Hi, Lonnie. Okay, let me grab my scissors. So this is dark because I couldn't close the top of my printer. And it printed on it. So, I, oh, I also wanted to show you guys on this paper, if you're printing on the, right, on the right side of it, it won't beat up. And it will be, you'll be able to touch it without it t coming off if you print it on the right side. If you give it about five minutes to dry, it's totally touchable and won't smear. Now, if it's on the wrong side, it never dries. Literally, weeks later, it's still wet. Let's see. I'm just going to cut through there. Make this more manageable. Okay, so... I'm going to do these wings separate also, so I'm just going to cut them out like so. And I'm doing a little bit of fussy cutting, but not crazy, you know, not too, too bad. Just close to the color. 
And then down here, when we attach it to the rock, I'll bend it like that. Also, I don't know if you guys um, knew, the other wings that I purchased from my Beaded Bohemian, she was out on vacation. If you were having trouble um, getting the wings, she's back and her shop is open. So you can purchase the digital download to use the other wings that I use. Remember, if you guys find digital content, make sure it's not copyrighted. It's not very expensive to buy it. Um, from the artist that created it usually so if they're creating digital files they're generally not too awful expensive like the wings I bought was uh, I'm sorry it was only I think 250 or something for the digital file and I have unlimited um, I can use you know sell it I can't share it with you guys but I can like make jewelry and sell that and sell my art with it so so there's one side and then I'm also I'm going to use this on the film this is actually the fairy wing but I'm going to ignore that <laughs> and I'm going to use this on my window film just in case I need a back a backing a little bit so I'm just going to have these both cut out and ready to go I also think I want to add some blue sky in the background. Do you guys remember the blue sky technique with the watercolor and the paper towel? So I'm going to use that. I need my little scissors, but you know my room. I don't know where anything is right now. <laughs> All right, that's probably about good. Let's see. All right, so the wings are ready to resin in a minute. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to use the watercolor palette that I made. Jen got the wings. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're perfect. They print perfectly. Ooh, that's a good idea. Katie wants to try this technique with them. Um, oh, those are some stones I made for another project. Oh, Lori, I'm going to show that real quick. <laughs> Intermission. Lori <laughs> also sent me this sweet little girl that she made and I um, have stopped right here at the foil I did the the shirt and the pants so we're doing a um, collaboration here on this girl and so I made these rhinestones they're like marquee with rounds glued into it I need my little tool anyways they're gonna be so cute when I get it on there so they're gonna sit in these areas isn't that cute I forgot her name. What'd you call her? L Lori? <laughs> if I said Lonnie, I'm sorry. Lori, Lonnie. Okay. So I gotta put these aside so I don't paint them. Okay, so I'm just going to get my watercolor brush wet with 
clear water. I'm just using a snap round number six. I believe it's by Princeton. And this is the neon set that I made part of it. I started making another set, so this is a partial set. I'm just re-wetting my paint. And I'm going to apply it to the rock. Oh, I forgot I sprayed the rock, so it's going to beat up. <laughs> Whoops. This may or may not work. Hmm, I forgot about that. When you use um, Rust-Oleum spray, it sort of makes your stuff waterproof. So, this might not work. We'll see here. It's not that bad. So it's a very light blue back <laughs> sky background. So it beads up. Um, so I'm just pulling the color back off with paper towel, but leaving a bit in the background. So I'm letting it sit just for a minute. Oh, by the way, this is a tattoo. If I didn't say that, the horse, the Pegasus, is a tattoo from Amazon. And I don't recall exactly which set it's from, but I'll go back and look through my stuff. Um, and then I applied the tattoo and used the oh, hoo hoo alcohol ink on there. I think I did say that. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the bunched up paper towel and remove most of the beaded water. So it still works, just uh, not as vivid as on the bare Santorini. All right, I think we're pretty close to dry. That's good. Dried fast. Okay, so I'm going to work on the wings. Yes, the paper towel is dry. I just use it to basically remove the paint back off and it just leaves, you know, just a bit of... Let me put that up close so you guys can see. Okay, gloves on. Make sure you're using your PPE, folks, okay? I know there's a post on my page, the page, the group right now, about um, what masks and respirators we recommend. And I will show you. This is the recommended. You need to have the big old mask and filters. This is what I think you need to do if you're going to be using resin. Um, nail art foil glue and top coat, anything UV based is a resin. So when I am on video, I use this mask. Let me show you. Because otherwise I would sound like Darth Vader. It's an N95 
I don't recommend this. I only use this during video, so. Make sure you're wearing gloves. Goggles are even a great idea as well. That uh, mask that I just showed you does come with a set of goggles. A um, couple of other things too. <laughs> so, Okay, so what I'm doing here is Mr. Resin. I'm going to make glitter wings. So when I ordered my fun pen, I got a sample of this glitter. It's called Rosy Cheeks. And it is so pretty and it came with it in this little like acrylic candy jar. So I'm going to mix just a bit of that in with the Mr. Resin, a bit of this one, and then I'm going to paint on my rock Hollow Sparkle. This is from the Naturalist Company. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> so I'm just going to paint this on so it'll be dry when I attach a uh, resin the rock and attach the wings. This is very holographic glitter. It is beautiful. And it's in a paint. In a clear base. I'm trying to see if there's any tools on the live. I can't find a flash or anything like that. So Hopefully this doesn't disconnect. Hang on. Enable flash. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at that. I have some light. Look at the glitter. Can you see it? Beautiful hollow glitter. Now the jury's out on all of the different paints. But this one, I will get behind. <laughs> For sure. They're pretty expensive, so Lori was kind enough to give me a sample to try and make sure I liked it. And I do, so I've ordered some. And this has, goodness, lasted me for a while, guys. I've been putting it on everything. All right, pretty wings already, huh? Oh yeah, I see uh, Elizabeth's talking about the silicone mat and the cups and the tweezers and the spatulas. We were talking the other day and I was, I got these with Mr. Resin, but there's a set on Amazon pretty cool set actually oh and Lori sent these too also anyways it comes with some spatulas some mixing cups some mixing sticks the mat pretty much all the stuff you need to have a really fun resin session <laughs> okay so rock out of the way gonna dry mr. resin I'm gonna put enough in the cup for both wings so probably a teaspoon uh, maybe a little more Teaspoon and a half. Okay. And now I have to figure out how to get this open. Okay, Ruby Cheeks. How shall I open you? I'm going to get out the exacto knife. This is going to go everywhere, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it didn't. Cool. Thank you. Okay, and then I'm going to get a little spatula.
Were you guys watching me spill it? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put like that much. Right? Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Do you guys see it? <laughs> it's like fairy wings pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's it's sparkly. You guys know that I get stuck on sparkly. <laughs> I don't even think I need the other glitter. I think this is way, way enough. So I was going to put the hollow glitter in there, but this is hollow in it. Okay, this one's called Ruby Cheeks. And it is pretty dang incredible. Wow, yeah, that was a tiny bit. So don't need the hollow. That might even be too much glitter. Wow. Okay, so first wing. Let's see, do I want to do the back side or the front side first? I think I'll do the front side. So I'm going to do it, um, the updated version that I did on Leo's Rock. If you guys remember Leo's Dragonfly. So I'm basically going to encapsulate the transparency film, basically. Grabbing my tweezers. And I'm just going to smooth this around the wing. Now I've never done this before on these kind of wings so this could really flop but I'm hoping it goes similarly to the dragonfly wings I know Naturalist was sending out free samples, but I did hear that they ran out. So in all fairness, they got thousands of requests for that. And it was while supplies last. I never got mine, so I, but I'm I'm not going to complain cuz I understand, you know, business is first come first serve kind of thing. Okay, so I've got that spread out pretty much the way I would like it. I'm going to torch it to remove the bubbles. Not, not enough to burn it, just, you know. And watch your plastic, you don't want to melt that. But let me show you guys. See how glossy it is? Make sure all the bubbles are gone. Now I'm going to use the little 6 watt to see if you guys can see. I might have to change my 6 watt though because Mac Arts are pretty dim. I want to see if you guys can watch it um, bend. <laughs> Music I can hold it up. You guys see it? Oh, you guys, I love doing these wings. <laughs> there it goes, it's sort of bending up. See how they just pop up and they start bending? If you start on the front side, it'll be, the bend will be in the right direction. 
It's from the resin shrinking. I just got to say, you guys are so sweet to each other. I love all y'all. Thank you for being so nice to each other. <laughs> so sweet. You guys always support the other guy. Okay, so I'm putting while it's warm still. It's not cured all the way. It's still sticky. But while it's warm, I'm just bending this part here. So when I apply it to my rock, it'll have that natural bend in it like so. See? I'm actually going to straighten it just a bit. That's a big bend. <laughs> oh, I love this so much already. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. So I want to make sure that it's nice and sealed. Now, since it's bent, this side, you're probably going to have to use your hand to cure. So... Resin gets very hot. Try to not get it on you. And I'm doing the edges too. Making sure those are nice and sealed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> off camera let me move my camera just a bit here Okay, got that part. I'm just leaving the very tip with none on it so that I don't burn myself. And then I will turn it around after the other side is cured a little bit and add some resin to this part. Okay, grab your light. Move your resin out of the way. You don't want to cure it all yet. So, did you guys get notifications about the YouTube live event? Or how did that come to you? How did you find out? Because I made a schedule of it, but I did, don't know how it notified you guys. Okay, I did put a post on Facebook with a link to the live. Good. So it was like a YouTube notification for some of you, like a like a message when you get a notification that oh, I know. <laughs> so when someone goes live, duh. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cure this side just a bit again cuz I put some on um, the edges yep I sent some out in messenger too, Teresa thank you so they all worked that's good to know I made the event on YouTube so that I sent out notifications to um, people who are subscribed to my channel I think and then I made a post on Facebook and from the post I hit send and that let me send it in messenger to all my friends 
So that's how I did the notifications. And I'm hoping that that notifies the people who want to be notified. Because I've been having issues trying to notify everybody. Trying to remember who wants to be notified. Very good. <laughs> Elizabeth is saying that when she subscribed to my channel, she clicked on the bell to be notified for live events. Good thing. So hit the bell if you would like notifications when I'm uploading or going live. It all makes sense, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that in the big uh, light now. In the Beatles light right there. It's going in there. And it's going to cure while we're making the other one. All right, make some more resin for this wing. But first, I got to clean up. Always have some alcohol on hand when you're working with resin to clean up yourself. Any spills or your tools. Okay, I'm just adding a little Mr. Resin so I can get the front and the back of my wing. I'm going to just add a little more of the glitter. <laughs> Susan, yep, keep your liquor handy. <laughs> you guys are funny. That's too much. <laughs> And I'm just using a toothpick to stir. I didn't want to go hunting for my silicone stick. I have a little silicone stick somewhere. And I'm going to do the same thing, just spread it around, but I want to turn it. And it's okay if it goes off your um, transparency film because you can just clip off the little sections, the overspill, with some sharp scissors, or you can even use an X Acto to cut it off. I am really impressed with the transparency film and how good inkjet printer ink sticks to it. So this transparency film is for inkjet printers and I will link all of the products that I used in the tutorial in the description when I post. Okay, I think we are covered. Okay, 
I'm going to give it a little torch. And bring it up and see if you guys can watch the bubbles pop. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Let's see. See all the bubbles? There we go. You probably can't see them because the letters in the way. But all right. Okay, so I'm gonna cure that. Thought it decided to quit. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want the light to shine in your eyes. Uh, Julie Lunt, isopropyl alcohol, not Bloody Marys? I don't know. Maybe both. <laughs> a little Bloody Mary, a little isopropyl. 1 didn't bend too much because it was stuck to the sheet so when you peel it up peel it from the end you want bent sorry so you get your bend while it's warm and then while it's still warm make sure you shape it the way you want it so I'm trying to grab the other one so I have a visual here so those are about pretty close to the same Pretty, pretty. Okay, so that was this side. I'm going to do this side. Thank you, Jen. I think these are turning out pretty nice myself. Sorry, I think it was out of focus. I apologize. Okay. And this one is stuck to my finger here, so it's probably going to get a little hot. I'm going to try to cure it on the thing.
Yvonne, if you're on, thank you for the gloves. These are amazing. There's no leaking. These are pretty good, strong gloves. Okay, I'm going to pop that in the big light to finish curing the rest of the way. And while these are curing, dun, 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 we will get our other rock prepped to receive. I'm going to put this rock up on a riser rock so that if any resin is down along the edges it will cure as well here's the riser covering it with these are old um, shipping label backings it's kind of like butcher paper just to keep it keep my rock from ceiling to the rock underneath it, you know what I mean? So if any drips happen, it'll go onto the paper. So I have a little bit of the... Oh, let me show you real quick. I'm thinking, see, it's still... It's not dry all the way yet, but I think, let's see if it changes color. See, my hand is behind it is warm. See it changing color? This is a thicker pendant, so might take it a minute to turn. It's still got to dry a lot. There it goes. Okay, watch this. Did you see it? <laughs> it is way cool. So we'll take a peek back in at this in just a little bit and see how close it is. All right, I have a little bit of resin left, so I'm grabbing this silicone mold I have for a guitar pick. I'm just going to scrape this off into that, and then we will move on. Wastes none, right? Resin is expensive. And then put your silicone cup in your light and cure it. And then when you're done, just pop out your resin. It'll just peel right out of your silicone cup. Okay, so I'm just going to cure this little bit and then I'll add another layer to the top when it's done curing. Be careful when you're torching your molds that you don't burn your silicone. <clears throat> okay, everybody cure. Alright, now we're going to add our resin to the rock. 
so that when we attach our wings, we have something to attach them to. All right, just going around the rock. Not too awful much. We'll use a new Bonnie spatula. Lori, Lori spatula, sorry. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Loni and Lori. Wow, that was not good. Lori, 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 Lori spatula. Ooh, it works good, too. You know, this is really great. It keeps most of the bubbles out. And really, really spreads the resin nice and even. Just let that level a bit and get the bubbles out. And get your wings. Okay. This is where having one of these <laughs> comes in handy. This is a UV LED torch, a uh, flashlight, so that you can hold with one hand and cure with the other. So we're going to put the wings on here. I'm gonna add a little resin around it and under it just so we have a good connection there. Torch out the bubbles. I always like to offset them a bit so the wings are very visual. So you don't want them, I think I want them out this way. Okay, are we ready? Hold your breath. And the resin takes a bit longer to cure than like UV top coat, but it should catch, yeah, see it catches it pretty quickly. And then you can let it go. Now obviously the rock is not sealed, it's very wet still, but your wing is on there. So you can work on the other one. Just a little bit there. Torch out your bubbles. Make sure your wing is where you want it. I need to put a new battery in my light. Pretty sure I saw that last night. <laughs> Look at our pretty horsey. Okay, now we'll put that in the big light to cure the rest of the way. So that'll take probably three cycles at 120. And your wings will probably lay down a bit because they like when they get warm, they move around. 
So if you wanted to put another coat of resin on here, make them thicker, you can do that as well uh, right now before you pop them in there. Which I think I might do that. No, I think I'll give them a try and then maybe if they need more. All right, make sure you have your resin capped and out of the way just in case that light gets to it. You don't want to ruin a whole bottle. All right, in the light we go. Bye, Mr. Pegasus. See you on the other side. The rock is a little bit bigger than my um, lamp, so I'm having to prop it on a few things. have it up on glitter and a paint palette but look how pretty it is in there hello okay so this I just cured and I'm just gonna pop oh come back here <laughs> so this I just cured the resin in the UV light so it just pops right out after that very easy to clean up your silicone tools that way so Allison I think you were asking me how to clean them I think you were right Anyways, so yeah, you just pop it. It just peels right off. I don't know if you can see this. See? Pops right off. Brand new clean tool. Let's see how our guitar pick is doing. Really good. Got a nice... So I'm going to put another layer on the top. Actually, I'm going to put a little jewel in there. Because I have a really cool musical note here. Let's see which one do I want. This one. Oh, come on. I don't know what it means, which direction. Okay, guys, any music teachers out there? Which direction, or people who read music? Which direction does the music note go? I'm sure it goes both ways, but... I feel like I want it to go this way because I'm right-handed, so I want it like that, but which way does it go, guys? That way. Good. Okay. Thank you. So, and I just have this jar or this little thing full of rhinestones that I find on the floor or whatever. So I'm just going to put a couple in there. I want this one here. Maybe I'll just put one right there. I usually wouldn't put rhinestones in resin because they lose facets, but I want to see what it looks like buried. And get these out of the way. Okay, I'm going to add some. Uncap it. <laughs> oh, Jen's saying it goes the other way. Oh no, that's five the other ways. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can get with that. Like that or upside down. Now it goes this way. We're going to do that. You got to make sure there's no bubbles underneath your stuff. So... When you bury something, make sure you coat it.
Oops. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. It didn't flip out or get on me. Wow. That was a miracle. Nope. The tip is still up. Okay. We're going to cure that under the little light. Check our wings. Doing good. Let's check. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> yes, looks good. Okay, so I have an idea for this. Not sure how well it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. And I'm basically, I have this black. It's, I think it's like a UV nail polish, but it's really thick. We call it a base, I think. I'm going to put that in there. To... There it is. Black primer. <laughs> it came with something. I think rhinestones. I just want to make sure all the UV lights are off. So I'm going to paint this on inside the cross. In a zebra fashion. So I'm just going to come out and make kind of zebra stripes. It's hard to paint really tiny. I don't know how you guys do it on pennies and stuff. <laughs> Some of you guys do such small details. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment. Hopefully it'll come together. <laughs>
I think it's going to look pretty cool. So the color changing is going to be the background instead of the foreground, like this one that I did. So this one color changes on the top and this one will change since it's going to lay on your neck I thought it'd be nice for it to change from behind this stuff is very thick the um the stuff I'm using But it's pretty cool. It's like a lacquer paint, kind of, but UV. So in here, I'm going to have issues. <laughs> it's so small. I need a smaller brush. Let me see what I got over here. Uh huh. one that I've cut down so let me see how small I can get these lines Wings are still going. Almost done in there. Hmm, kind of flattening out up here, huh? Guess I better cure it while it's so this is UV like I said, so I'm just gonna thicken it up a bit and then give it a cure. And if I don't like it, we'll just paint it all black and start over. <laughs> but I think it's cool. All right. So move that out of the way, give it a cure. Yeah, it's kind of like camouflage almost. Beautiful. I think our corsi is done. I'm gonna change my gloves so I don't get any prints on my rock. Thanks, Jen. Thank you guys. Oh, you're so sweet. And I think we're pretty close to being done. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? We can add rhinestones. <laughs> like last night. <laughs> it's never done, right? Never know when it's done. When's it ever done? Look. Ha ha. Ha So then, I'm going to bury that in top coat. Gelixer. Actually, I think I had some left from last night. And the top coat will protect the a mood changing paint 
and the lacquer you just put in there. When I say top coat, that's um, UV top coat for nail nails, nail polish top coat. I use Beetles out of the little bottle and then Gelixir refill. And I'll show you that bottle here in a moment. Just making sure it's really in there around all the edges because the mood changing paint is water based you want to make sure it's definitely sealed with something long term so I'm going to torch to get the bubbles out <laughs> I love it. it changes the color look pretty purple okay and give it a cure. This is the Gelixir. 226 gram. It's a pretty big bottle. I'll lift up so you can see. I think it was $44, $45. The only problem is it kind of leaks a bit, but keep some alcohol on hand. It's worth it when you think about the cost of a bottle of Beetles top coat or any top coat is right around between six and ten dollars, okay, for UV top coat. And that is half a fluid ounce. I don't know how that computes to grams, but it's a little, little bit, not a lot. And it's always running out real fast. So you can just take your alcohol and clean up your jar. Here we go. And then you can, you know, embellish with music notes. I don't know what this note is, but it's pretty. Aren't those cute? You do all kinds of things. I have little tiny cogs too that you could put in there. With these little bitty guys. Or just rhinestones. Or you could just leave it like it is. Anyway, so that is that. Thank you so much. Here we are. Mr. Pegasus. 3D wings. And they are nice and solid. So if you wanted to add, you know, details or rhinestones here, um, same thing, you can just um, I think I would stick to probably for me, the AB colors and stuff like that I'll put some up here so you can see I don't know if I'm going to do them I might
Something about like that. I'm going to turn off the flash. There's such a glare. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might just go ahead and bondic put those on that. They look pretty good. Do you guys like them? And then we'll be done, okay? I promise. You guys don't trust me anymore, do you? It's never done. So this is the bondic. You guys probably know about this by now, right? It's a UV adhesive in a needle applicator. go and then you just turn on your little light on the other end and seal in your rhinestone and it takes a couple of seconds it's fast super fast Just giving him some bling, right? You gotta have some bling. Especially when we're talking about Pegasus wings. Voila. And recap your bondic. pretty cool tool. Lonnie, thank you. Comes in this nice tin too. So I want to say thank you again everybody for my first YouTube live for you guys all hanging out with me and making it super special and um, thank you for the feedback so I can learn how to make it better and hopefully bring you a lot more of these. You guys know I like going live, so I can only imagine that this is going to be a cr an off something that I'm going to do a lot. <laughs> so I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you, guys. I don't know how to stop it, so it's going to be awkward for a minute. <laughs> uh huh. I guess, you know, there's an X in the corner. So bye. Take care.